Welcome to another episode of the Hour of Great Mercy. Protocol, pandemic, but I will remove my mask so that you'll know it's me, si Brother Don Poito. Okay? And by the grace of God, we're back on the air through ETV. And that is Internal Television Network. And we'd like to thank Brother Ben Yalong for giving us the opportunity to talk about the Divine Mercy. Brother Celso, Brother Ronnie. And we're here to talk about the message and devotion to the Divine Mercy. Alam niyo po, medyo nawala po tayo sa ere since 2012. Because of some matters had to attend to po sa probinsya, no, konting kabuhayan. So, I had to give time also po for myself, and now that Brother Ben calls me up and says, Bro, we have ETV. And so I said, Wow, thank you, Lord. E for Emmanuel, God is with us. Ang ganda po ng kanilang uh, network na tinayo. Okay? So again, you know, I've been out for uh, quite some time, but we're back on the air to talk about the message and devotion to the Divine Mercy. Kaya medyo kapi-kapi lang po tayo sandali, no? <laughs> You know, the Divine Mercy is a very important message that the world needs today. Kaya kailangan po natin ng focus on what this is truly about. I've been involved with this since 1985 through the Divine Mercy Say a Little Prayer Movement, which launched the 3 o'clock habit nationwide. Luzon, besides Mindanao, is being aired also in other parts of the world. Yung 3 o'clock prayer po, very important, very powerful. But today, I'd like to talk on the encyclical of the late St. John Paul II. Alam niyo po, nung pumunta sa Pilipinas si St. John Paul II, nung World Youth Day, natasan po kami na ayusin yung backstage and grandstand. And so, nice namin ni Father Delphine, yung likod, kami na-assign doon. Nung dumating yung Santo Papa, si John Paul II, he came down in his Pope Mobile, I know he wants to go straight to the stage. They were asking if he wants to go to relax for a while. No, no, no. He go straight. So we were behind John Paul, walking him to the grandstand. At doon po sa may grandstand, nilagay namin ni Father Delphine, yung malaking image ng Divine Mercy po. It was painted by the daughter of the late Amor Solo. At nung dumaan po si John Paul II, pakana na sa paket ng grandson, nakita yung image sa kaliwa. Life-size po ito. Bumalik po si St. John Paul II. He stood before the image. He prayed for a while. Mamaya, blinis niya. That image we have at the Divine Mercy Chapel. And that image was blessed na po, by a saint who is now a saint. John Paul II. So we have an icon that was blessed by St. John Paul II while he was still here on earth. Mga kapatid, this Pope is called the Mercy Pope because he tried his best to bring the message and devotion to the divine mercy to the world. He canonized St. Maria Faustina Kowalska. Later on, he himself was canonized by Pope Francis as St. John Paul II. Or Pope Benedict, I'm sorry. My sisters and brothers in Christ, the Lord said a spark will come from Poland. If you watch my first episode, po, nabanggit ko dyan. And that spark, po, one of those sparks that came from Poland, besides St. Faustina, is John Paul II. Ginamit po ng Diyos ang Santo Papa para ipalaganap sa buong mundo ang mensahe na ito. Dahil napaka-importante. We need to put an end to this pandemic. And if only all of us will call out together to God's mercy, especially every day at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Lord, have mercy. God can end this any time. As I always say, God is shaking the world. He's shaking the world to wake us up. Inuga ba? Uy, gising. 3 o'clock, the hour of grace, the hour of great mercy. The hour that God loves so much. He said, pause for a moment at 3 o'clock. Think of his passion. Pray for sinners. And whatever he asks, in virtue of his passion, he will not refuse a request. 
Kung sabay-sabay tayo humingi ng awa ng Diyos at Restes ng hapon, I'm sure we're going to get this COVID-19 out of this of this uh, segment of our lives. Po. We never thought that we will go through a pandemic. Sino ba nakaisip nun, di ba? But it's here. Tapos sunod-sunod pa yung mga bagyo sa atin. So that's why this encyclical that Pope John Paul II wrote during his papacy, Divis in Misericordia, rich in mercy, God who is rich in mercy, is so important. Let me start the topic by asking you a question. What is the mission of the church? Ano pong mission ng simbahan? Yung simbahan po ng Romano-Katoliko. The Roman Catholic Church. What is the mission? When Jesus said to St. Peter, You are Peter, and upon this rock I'll build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. More than 2,000 years sa po, hindi nawasak ang simbahang ito. Maraming umusbong. Pero the church still standing. Satan is doing his best to destroy it. But God said, Satan will have no hold on it. He told Peter. So ano pong mission ng simbahan? In chapter 7 of the encyclical of Pope John Paul II, Divis in Misericordia, he asks, what is the mission of the church? Ang sagot, mercy is the mission of the church. Awa. We have to be merciful to each other. Because faith without action is dead. You say you love God. You profess that you want to follow God. But you're not merciful. Like now, forgiveness is so hard to do, so hard to give. But if you have divine mercy in my soul, as St. Faustina wrote in her diaries, divine mercy in my soul. Hindi lang po divine mercy in me. Divine mercy in my soul. It's embedded in her. And that's what we must do. To remember that we are all sinners. Lahat po tayong makasalanan. Let the first one throw the stone, sabi ni Lord, sa adulterous woman who has not sinned. So stop being self-righteous. Just say, Lord, nagkasalan ng kapatid ko, pinapatawad ko, Lord. Tul- Lord, tulungan mo siya. Lord, nung taong ito, Lord, kailangan yung awa. Sinaktan niya ako, but si Lord, I offer this person to you. You may not face the person, but God knows the intentions of your heart. That's why Sabi ni John Paul II, the mission of the church is mercy. We are to proclaim God's mercy through our actions. We must proclaim God's mercy na po, in what we do every day to proclaim His greatness, His God, His love, His mercy. Are we doing that? Then, that's the ni Pope John Paul II in chapter 12 of the Divis in Misericordia. Is justice enough to bring us peace? Sapat na ba bang justicia to bring us peace? Sigaw na sigaw na, justicia, justicia, justicia. We're forgetting to be merciful, to save him, not to go to hell. Nakita po ni Faustina ang impyerno, pinakita ni Lord sa kanya. Ah, grabe, sabi ni Faustina, even the face of Satan alone, you wouldn't want to be there. Nasukad daw siya when she saw the face of Satan. Ang baho, such foul smell. And you know what? Faustina said, I looked around in hell kung may kamag-anak ako <laughs> And she said, thank God I didn't see any of my relatives. Would you want to see any of your relatives in hell? Pray for them. Sinaktan tayo ng mga mahal natin sa buhay, kamag-anak, magulang, anak, tito, tita. Don't hate them. Just pray for them. Just practice mercy by prayer. There are three ways you can practice mercy. By word, by action, by prayer. You can talk good to people. Stop destroying people. You can do an action to show your love and mercy to others. You can pray for them. These are the three steps you can practice mercy. Because I mean, John Paul, no, justice is not enough. It is when mercy is applied. It is when just mercy is applied that justice is fulfilled. 
don't just want the condemnation, want the salvation. Kaya dito po tayo gusto ng mga death penalty, di ba? Kasi we believe sa, sa kulungan, pwede pa sila magbago. E kung pinatay mo dyan ngayon yan, tapos hindi siya nag-repent, paano yung kalalawan niya? Kaya sabi ni St. Faustina, only those who want to be damned will be damned. But God damns no one. So we have no right to damn anybody. Because if that person asks for God's mercy, who are you to judge? Ah, masama yan. Walang kwet ng tao yan. Marami pong paninira ngayon sa mundo, lalo sa social media, mga bashers, mga, fo- mga fake news. That's why justice is not enough. We must practice mercy, sabi ni John Paul. And in chapter 8, he tells us, we must not only practice mercy, but also profess it, proclaim it, like what we're doing right now on EDB. ETVN, we are promoting, we are proclaiming, professing the mercy of God. And thank God, tinulong ni, ni Lord si Ben Yalong para makatayo ng ganito. And it's very, very nice to hear because, alam niyo po, sabi ko, Lord, kailan niyo gusto bumalik? When do you want me to go back to start the media? No, that was how many years? And bigla, bigla po, after a few months, tinawagan ng Brother Ben. Oh, Brother Don, may tayong ETVN. Ako, ano yung EWTN? Hindi, ETVN. Eternal Television Network. Emmanuel of the E. My sister, brothers in Christ, that's why I said, Sige, bro, buta ko Manila. Recording tayo. He asked me to come, and so I'm here to proclaim, to profess. Not only did I practice mercy, now we're professing mercy through the help of so many people. Ginagamit pa ni Lord lahat sila. Like Brother Ben was used by God to put this up. My sisters and brothers in Christ, what is the fruit of mercy? Ano bang bunga ng awa? The fruit of mercy, as John Paul said, is peace. Kapayapaan. Di ba, huwag napatawad ka, kahit galit na galit sa taong yan, pinasa Diyos mo na, pinagdasal mo siya. Di ba, you feel calm, you feel relaxed, you feel na para bang, you know, you can continue your day without stress, without pressure, because you keep on hating, you keep on resenting, kapatid, magkakasakit ka. It affects our, you know, our human body. Stress could give us high blood, heart attack, could give us stroke, Mankind will not find peace if they do not run to my mercy. Kung may nakita ng nagagawang kasalanan o may, nag, may, 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 may fake news dyan na narinig mo, hindi mo alam, totoo hindi. Lord, I lift up this person to you. Ibig na makipagkampi ka and then start destroying also. Then nagkasala ka na rin. Kaya so, ko pag narinig akong chismis, paninir and all that, I just keep quiet. I don't add to it. I just say, Lord, have mercy on that person. Lord, salamat, hindi nangyari sa akin kung totoo man yan. Please imagine, kung nangyari sa'yo yun, so that's one way of being merciful. My sisters and brothers in Christ, what is mercy? What is mercy? In the encyclical of John Paul II, he asks us this question. And he says, no one word is adequate to, to, to define mercy. He said, anything you see under the sun, anything you see in the world, the beauty, the goodness, all of that is mercy. From the mercy of God. So God is merciful to us 24-7, not only 3 o'clock. Pati araw at gabi po, ang awa ng Diyos is there for us. Sabi nga ni John Paul, eh, the second name of love is mercy. So what is mercy? Mercy is love in action. Pagmamahal, hindi sa salita, hindi sa gawa. Mercy is loving those who do not deserve to be loved. Ang hirap, no? They don't deserve it, but you have to love them. Sabi ni Lord, eh. Love your enemies. What merit do you get when you love your friends and hate your enemies? Of course, you love your friends, eh. Mabait sila. Ito, masama sa iyo, eh. Pero minahal mo pa rin. Effort yan. Just like what that thief on the cross beside Jesus and Calvary, sabi niya, remember me. When you enter your kingdom, at tuwan-tuwa si Kristo, sabi niya, today you'll be with me in paradise. 
sisinabihan niyo yung isang magnanako. Pero ka ba takot sa Diyos? Ito karapat dapat sa atin, pero sa wala siyang ginawa. So this guy realized that he's a sinner and he wants mercy. So instead of bashing the Lord, he asked for the mercy. That's why nga tao sa kanya, the greatest thief on earth, he stole heaven that day. This day you will be with me in paradise. Kapatid, do your best to practice that work of mercy. My sisters and brothers in Christ, God's love is poured out on everyone. We cannot say, ah, hindi ka bibigyan ng grasya ng Diyos. Ah, wala, wala, wala karapatan sa awa ng Diyos. No, God's love is poured out on deserving and undeserving souls. That's God. Rich in mercy. Divis in misericordia. And God the Son, pero kung minsan tigas ang puso natin, ayaw natin mag-respond sa love. Eh. Gusto natin bitterness, hatred, you know, ah, ginagaganti ako. Let God. Sabi niya, vengeance is not ours. It's God's. We just pray for the person. Kaya ako marami rin nagkasakit, no? na, nasaktan ako sa mga sinasabi nila and all during the past years about this work. See, Satan hates this work so much. Sabi ni Satanas kay St. Faustina, yes, Satan appeared to Faustina and it's here in her diaries. Ito ang basis ng message of devotion to divine mercy. We're quoting from the diary of a saint. Hindi na kung sino-sino na siya nakita ang Diyos. No, she's a saint. Ano sabi ni Satanas kay St. Faustina? You are snatching many souls from my dominion every time you speak of my mercy. Or every time you speak of the mercy of God. Satan says, no, I am not afraid of you. I will proclaim God's goodness till I die. Dito po sa kanyang diarrhea. What is sainthood? Ang ibig sabihin ng saint? Ano po? Sabihin ng saint. Holy? Banal? Yes. But sainthood is a confirmation that the church gives to that person saying, yes, that person is now in heaven. Nasa langit na yung taong yan. Kaya nga santo, santa na siya. Because when you enter heaven, all of us become saints. All of us. Meron lang pinoproclaim na saint dito para makilala natin at masunod natin ang kanilang mga virtues. That's why God allows some saints to be recognized on earth. But when you enter heaven, all of us become saints. Kaya pag nasa langit na tayo, tatawagin kang Saint. Saint Ben, Saint Celso, Saint Ronnie, Saint Don. Pag nasa langit na, yan ang titulo natin, Saint. My sisters and brothers in Christ, please remember that John Paul II did all he could during his papacy to proclaim the message of mercy. And he says also in his encyclical, what is the greatest prayer on earth? And we all know that. Forgive me as I forgive others. But you don't forgive others. How can God forgive you? Puro bitterness, resentment. Jesus reveals his mercy as the Father. God who is rich in mercy. Make the Father present to us as love and mercy. My sisters and brothers in Christ, what we need today is mercy. Love in action, loving those who do not deserve to be loved. And one of the beautiful an example that the Holy Father, John Paul II, gave us in the encyclical is the prodigal son. Nung nabasa ko ito, ang ganda pag-explain ni John Paul. Eh. Sabi, remember the prodigal son? Sabi niya, Dad, give me my share. It's like saying, Dad, drop dead, mamatay ka na. Kailangan ko yung pera mo, yung share ko. Buhay pa yung tao, hindi mo na yung mana mo. Diba? Bastos yun. But this son said, give me my share. And what did the son do? He went out and squandered his, his, his riches that, God, that, that the father gave him. Then he found himself eating with the pig. To cut a long story short, eating with the pigs. Sabi niya sa bahay ng tatay ko, yung mga alila doon, ang sarap ng pagkain. Ako dito, kumakain na ng kanin baboy. Ah, babalik ako. Hingi ko niya ng patawad. Ano nangyari sa anak nung na-realize niya na yung mga alila, kumakain ng masarap, siya puro kanin baboy? Ano bang attitude, ano bang karakter nakita niya sa father niya? Magang galing magpakain ng tatay ko. You know, although the intention was not that pure, he was hungry. Ayun niya kumain ng kanin baboy araw-araw. 
So what happened to the son? There was conversion. And when there is conversion, you see the goodness. And the goodness of God. So the son goes back. Pabalik siya dun sa tatay niya. Yung tatay niya, araw-araw, nasa may gate, nag-aabang, bumalik na ba yung anak ko. God is like that, waiting for us. Kahit masama ang ginawa sa kanya, masakit ang ginawa sa kanya, but every day the father is outside that gate, looking, waiting. Then nung nakita ng anak, yung tatay niya sa may gate, natakot yung bata, umatras, hindi na tumuloy. And what happens there? Satan blocks us. Huwag ka na bumalik dyan. Mapapahiya ka lang. Tumalikot ka na. Umalis ka dyan. He will not forgive you. Akin ka na. Makasalanan ka na. Ganang matukso ng demonyo. And that is what we do when we want to avoid confession. Hindi ako papatawarin ng Diyos. Kaya mabigat mong kumpisal, lalo na sa Feast of Mercy, which I'll talk in another episode. But still, the son stood there, parang na stage fright siya. Nakita nung tatay. Ano ginawa ng tatay? Ang tatay pang lumapit. At niyakap niya. And told, us, and told his helpers, put the best robe, put the ring on his finger, and shoes on his feet. Kasi nung panahon na yun, wala kang sapatos, okay? Sandals ka lang, alalay ka lang, okay? Wala ka talagang ano. Wala kang kayamanan, whatever, slave ka lang, o mahirap ka lang. Pero pagliligyan ng sapatos, but the sign of royal blood. They put the robe in the ring. What did the, God, what, what, what did the father do to his son? He restored the son. Binalik niya ang pagka-royal blood niya. Binalik niya ang pagka-anak niya. That's what God does to us when He asks for His mercy. He restores us. He restores us into full. And that's what happens in confessional. Now, why did the father go to the son? Because the effort alone natuha na ang Diyos. Naglakad siya pabalik sa akin. Natakot lang. Ako nakukuha sa kanya. Ang ganda, di ba? You don't fear God. All the more you want to go to God. The father, okay, was justified to be angry, wishing him dead because of his inheritance. But the father never stopped being a father. And God gives us the grace of conversion. We just have to listen. Because God's love is always for everyone. It is for the good and the bad. Kaya wag tayo maghusga. Okay? The conversion. When He forgives, He forgives because He's the Father. He knows He's God. He can condemn us anytime He wants. That's why He said, Vengeance is not yours, it is mine. Punishment I use when they force me to do so. But God doesn't want to punish us. Father, I have sinned against your fatherhood, against you, against man. Forgive me, Father. And the son never stopped being a son to the father. We never stop being children of God. Until that day when we have to face him in judgment day. And then he tells us, okay, you never ask for my mercy. Hindi ka nagtiwala sa akin. Okay, I can't do nothing but use justice. Because God is also just. But now we are while you're here on earth, you can ask for the mercy of God habang buhay ka. Pero pag namatay tayo, ah, pag namatay ako, sabihin, Lord, have mercy. Hindi na tapos yung pagkakataon mo. Habang buhay ka, dapat humiki ng awa. Hindi pag nawala ka ng hininga, doon ko hingi ng awa. Hindi po. Pag harap ko kay Lord, hindi yung awa. Hindi po. It's while you're living on earth, you should ask the mercy of God. While you're alive. My sisters and brothers in Christ, God cannot reveal Himself in any other way but mercy. Because God has to be mercy because He is mercy itself. Habi niya kay Faustina, I am love and mercy. God has to be humble because He is humility. God is so humble. Pero God can punish us anytime He wants. Anytime. What does God do when He sees sin? God sees sin and then He smashes it. Oh, sorry, I think I to malun. Okay, he smashes sin. God hates sin. God sees it and smashes it and he takes Satan away from us. 
My sisters and brothers in Christ, let me just quote to you some of the passages in the, in the diary of St. Faustina where Pope John Paul II got inspired to write Divis in Misericordia. In diary 1146, Sabi ni Lord K. Faustina, let the, let the greatest sinners place their trust in my mercy. They have the right before others to trust in the abyss of my mercy. My daughter, write about my mercy towards tormented souls. Souls that make an appeal to my mercy delight me. To such souls I grant even more graces than they ask. I cannot punish even the greatest sinner if he makes an appeal to my compassion. But on the contrary, I justify him in my unfathomable and inscrutable mercy. Right, before I come as a just judge, I first open wide the door of mercy. He who refuses to pass the door of my mercy must pass the door of my justice. Malinaw, God is mercy, but is also just. The Lord said to me, The loss of each soul plunges me into mortal sadness. You always console me when you pray for sinners. The prayer most pleasing to me is prayer for the conversion of sinners. Know, my daughter, that this prayer is always heard and answered. Ganda, no? Then, another one po, 1728. When we repent, ano nangyayari? Pag nagsisisi tayo. Ito po mga salita ng Diyos kay Faustina para sa atin. Kaya sabi niya, right, dahil ito po pakikinabangan natin lahat. In diary 1728, sabi ni Lord, I am thrice holy and I detest the smallest sin. I cannot have a soul which is stained with sin. But when it repents, there is no limit to my generosity toward it. My mercy embraces and justifies it. With my mercy, I pursue sinners along all their paths. And my heart rejoices when they return to me. I forget the bitterness in which they fed my heart and rejoice at the return. Tell sinners that no one shall escape my hand. If they run away from my merciful heart, they will fall into my just hands. Tell sinners that I am always waiting for them, that I listen intently to the beating of their heart. When will it beat for me? Write that I am speaking to them through their remorse of conscience, through their failures and sufferings, through thunderstorms, through the voice of the church. And if they bring all my graces to naught, I begin to be angry with them, leaving them alone and giving them what they want. My dear and brothers in Christ, 1275. Okay? Tatapusin ka lang po mga entry na to dahil importante po to on the encyclical of John Paul II. My secretary, write that I am more generous toward sinners than toward the just. It was for their sake my blood was spilled. Let them not fear to approach me. They are most in need of my mercy. Huwag tayo matakot. And lastly, 1739. Okay? Ito po sabi ni St. Faustina. Diary 1739. Write, my daughter, that I am mercy itself for the contrite soul. A soul's greatest wretchedness does not enkindle me with wrath, but rather my heart is moved towards it with great mercy. So when we sin, God doesn't get angry. He wants to come to Him. Kaya po sinulat ni John Paul II, St. John Paul II, Divis in Misericordia, God who is rich in mercy. Until our next episode, kapatid, this is your brother in Christ, Don De Castro, saying, trust even more, be merciful. ABC, ask for God's mercy, be merciful, complete trust in the mercy of God. Just marvelous book.